Hello everyone, welcome to TV Matha. Today we want to look at question number 16 for Wakisha Joint Mob. Uh, we are given the population X of a certain town, follows a mathematical model, which model is given here, where it is recorded in number of years. And we are given that the population of the town was this in 1990. We need to determine the population of the town as a function of T. So we need X, in uh, X as a function of T. So let us have that. We shall look at the solution. We are already told that dx dt is equal to x upon 100 minus x squared divided by 10 to power 8. So we shall try to solve this differential equation such that we are able uh, to remain uh, with uh, x, which is in terms of t. So we shall have uh, to simplify this first. Let us get to the LCM, which is 10 to power 8. 10 to power 8 divided by 100 will be 10 to power 6. So this is 10 to power 6 of x minus 10 to power 8 divided by 10 to power 8 is 1 times that will be x squared. So this is dx dt. So our dx dt, our dx dt is x into 10 to power 6 minus x, which is divided by 10 to power 8. Now having got this, we shall now Try to separate the variables by placing x alone and dt the other side. So this will be dx over x into 10 to the power 6 minus x, which is equal to dt divided by 10 to the power 8. So that is what we shall have. So from here, uh, you realize what you have here is an expression that is having linear factors. So what we shall do is to first express this expression in what we call the partial fractions. So what will be 1 upon x into 10 to the power 6 minus x? This in partial fractions is equivalent to having a over x plus b over 10 to the power 6 minus x. So when you get the LCM and this, this LCM with this will cancel, so you will get 1 which is equal to a into 10 to the power 6 minus x, then plus bx. So from here, uh, we shall put for x equaling to 0, if you put x equaling to 0 to eliminate this, we shall remain with 1, which is equal to a times, when you put 0 here, this will be times 10 to the power 6. So your a will be 1 over 10 to the power 6. So we also need b. So b to get b, we shall put x equaling to 10 to the power 6. For x equaling to 10 to the power 6, it means 1 will be equal to. This will go away. So we shall remain with b times 10 to the power 6. So your b will also be 1 out of 10 to the power 6. So clearly, we shall now obtain. We shall now obtain 1 upon x into 10 to the power 6 minus x will actually be equivalent to a. Uh, the value of a, we have seen it is 1 upon 10 to power 6. So this will be 1 divided by 10 to power 6. But this is over x. Plus b, this is 1 out of 10 to power 6 divided by 10 to power 6 minus x. So finally, this will be equal to 1 upon 10 to power 6 times x. Then plus 1 upon n to power 6 into n to power 6 minus x. So this will actually be same as 1 out of 10 to power 6 everything into 1 upon x plus 1 upon 10 to power 6 minus x. So that is what we shall get. So this is 1 over x into 10 to power 6 minus x. So it is equaling to 10 to power 6 uh, this is 10 to power 6, then into 1 plus x, into that. So now we shall look at this given expression. Let us have this one as equation star. From this equation star, uh, from equation star, uh, we shall have 1 over 10 to power 6 into 1 over x plus 1 over 10 to the power 6 minus x dx, uh, which is equal to where there is this expression here. 
where there is this one that is where we are putting the corresponding expression so this was equaling to this but we have got the values for a and b so where there is this expression here where there is this given expression we shall substitute there uh, the corresponding expression we have simply got so it will be equal to dt upon to power 8. so this is equal to dt divided by 10 to power 8. so looking at this we can try to simplify it further 1 over x plus 1 over 10 to power 6 minus x the whole of this is into dx will be equal to we bring in this side 10 to power 6 so it will reduce this and it will be dt divided by 10 to power 2. Now from this given point, we can see that we have 1 upon x plus 1 upon 10 to power 6 minus x into dx, which is equal to 1 over 100 dt. So the next thing that we shall do after here is to integrate. So we shall integrate on both sides. We shall integrate on both sides. So when you integrate 1 upon x with respect to x, you will get lean of x. Then when you integrate this with respect to x, it will be negative lean of magnitude of 10 to power 6 minus x. Of course, this will be equal to 1 upon 100 of t, then plus constant c. So this can be simplified further to give us lean of x over 10 to power 6 minus x, which is equal to 1 over 100 t plus c. Now we shall substitute for x equaling to, so we are given this information here, that the population was 100,000 in 1990. So we shall look at when x is 100,000, that was the initial time. So that is when t was 0. So we shall substitute it here, and this would be same as in of x, x is a positive value, so no need of putting magnitude now. So this is 10 to power uh, 5 divided by 10 to power 6 minus 10 to power 5, which is equal to C. So clearly this is same as lean of 10 to power 5 uh, divided by 10 to power 5, which is into, this will be 10 minus 1. So the whole of this will be equal to C. So this will finally give us lean of 1 out of 9, which is equal to C. 10 to power 5 will cancel out, then you remain with 10 minus 1, which is 9. So your C will be that. So from this given equation, from this given equation, which is star star, then we shall substitute for C. Now we shall say from our equation a star star, we shall now have uh, we shall now have lean we shall now have lean of x divided by a 10 to power 6 minus x, which is equal to 1 out of 100 t, then plus c, c is lean of 1 out of 9. So that is basically what we are having. This is 10 to power 6. So this is the bracket. So from this given point, we can now try uh, to simplify this further. So we shall have lean of x out of 10 to power 6 minus x minus lean of 1 out of 9, which is equal to 1 out of 100 of t. Remember, our interest is to get x in terms of t. Now from here, uh, we shall have this as lean of x out of power 6 minus x so we are subtracting so we are supposed to divide by 1 over 9 which is same as multiplying by 9 over 1 and this will be equal to 1 over 100 t so this will give us lean of 9x out of 10 to power 6 minus x which is equal to 1 out of 100 t. So we take it in the other side. This will give us 9x, 10 to power 6 minus x, which is equal to e to the power of 1 out of 100 of t.
So that is what we shall have. Now from this given point, we need to make x the subject. So we shall try to cross multiply. So 9x will be equal to 10 to power 6 minus x into e to power 1 out of 100 t. So 9x will be equal to 10 to power 6 e to power 1 out of 100 t minus x e to power 1 out of 100 t. So we bring this x to the other side, 9x plus x e to power 1 out of 100 t is equal to 10 to power 6 e to power 1 out of 100 t. So put x out, you remain with 9 plus e to power 1 out of 100 t, which is equal to 10 to power 6 e to power 1 out of 100 t. So we shall have our x as 10 to power 6 e to power 1 out of 100 t. The whole of this is divided by 9 plus e to power 1 out of 100 t. So from here, we can divide it through on each of these by e to power 100. And this will be x. And finally, we shall have our x as 10 to power 6 divided by 10 to power 6 divided by. So when you divide here by this, here by e to power this one, by e to power this one, so we shall have 9e to power negative 1 out of 100t then plus 1. So that is what we shall have. And that will be the expression for x in terms of t. So we can rewrite this one where the value of x is same as 10 to power 6 divided by 1 plus 9 e to the power of negative 1 out of 100 t. So this is the value of x in terms of t. And part a of the question will be answered. So looking at part B, part B is they are asking in what year will the population double that of 1990. So initially it was 100,000 and when it doubles it means it will be 100,000 times 2. So for that case uh, we shall have our x. So we shall have our x. So we are having our x as the double of what we had initially. So it means now we are dealing with 200,000. And t is what we are looking for. So for that case, we shall substitute for x in this expression. So 200,000 is actually equal to 10 to power 6 out of 1 plus 9e to power negative 1 over 10, 100 t. So this is same as 2 times 10 to power 5, which is same as 10 to power 6 over 1 plus 9e to power negative 100 t. So we can try to simplify this. So this and this will give us 2. And this one here will be equal to, this will be remain 10. Then this is 1 plus 9e to power negative 1 out of 100t. So from here we can try to cross multiply. So 2 into 1 plus 9e to power negative 1 out of 100t will actually be equal to 10. So you divide by 2 throughout and you will have 1 plus 9e to power negative 1 over 100t is equal to 5. So meaning that 9e to power negative 1 out of 100t is equal to 5 minus 1, which is 4. So this implies that e to power negative 1 out of 100t will be equal to 4 out of 9. So negative 1 out of 100t is equal to lean of 4 out of 9. So finally, we can try to get the value of t, and your t will be same as negative lean of 4 out of 9. Then we are multiplying this by 100. So our t is same as negative 100 lean of 4 out of 9. So you will be able to get your t, and this t will be same as 81 point. 093. So these are the years. We have obtained our t as 81.093 years. So this is uh, the time it will take for the population to double the population of 1990. So uh, looking at the question, they are asking in which year will the population double that of 1990. So it means 
we need the year. So, and we have seen that after 81.093 years, that is when the population will double. So, we need to get 1990, we add there the time we have obtained. And if we do that, we shall be able to get, we shall be able to get uh, 2,000, 71 so we shall be able to get 2071.093 so it means the population will double during the year 2071 so for that case the year the population will double will actually be 2071 yeah.